Hey guys, welcome to episode 10 of the Barnsley Saver. We're into double digits and we're into March. The games are coming thick and fast. We've got four games this month. Firstly, Blackpool at home, Bristol Rovers away, Stockport County at home and then Lincoln away. Straight into the action against Blackpool here. Blackpool are currently third in the league. They are chasing us down. Stockport just below them as well. So those will be the two games we play in. Joseph's through on goal. And after 13 minutes, our visitors have taken the lead. Not the start we were hoping for. We need to get key game points on the board and start getting this promotion wrapped up. Bolton are on a good winning streak. Blackpool want to keep up with us as well. And what a great start for the Tangerines as Joseph scores the opening goal. Straight through the middle again. One day we'll learn how to defend the centre of the field, but probably not in FC 24. Kyle Joseph, goal after 14 minutes. 20th minute now. They've got a free kick on like middle half of the half. Just diving in all over the place to give me that's a great block. What the refs gave a free kick for that? Oh, right on the edge of the box as well. We're very lucky this isn't a penalty. A yellow card for the give me. I thought I won the ball there to be fair. Yeah, I didn't get anywhere near it. Free kick to Blackpool. Byers over it. Former Chef Wednesday man. To give me like red yellow card confirmed there. And it's headed off the line. That's why we put a man back there. Keeper saves it, the second attempt. The Guvenie can pick it up. <sighs> Living dangerously there, but a ball up to Connell. That's a terrible header, but Williams wins the second one. Into Devante Cole, into Connell. Connell into McCatty. Cadun, we've got a two on one. Can we capitalize on this? Little pass, oh, it's made its way through and Devante Cole volleys home to make it 1-1 after 25 minutes. After going behind so early, it was good to get back into it. Just did a double tap on the pass button. Lifts it over the diving defender. Devante Cole whacks it in. Left foot volley. Six yards out. It doesn't miss those. And that is us back in the game. Blackpool are chasing us. And you can see how good they've been. They've been all over us this first half. They want the second recovery on the ball. Refs wave play on for something. I'm not sure what, but he's looking for Byers again. Byers into Joseph. Joseph, obviously, who scored the first goal. Byers now, he's thrown goal. Looking back for Joseph. No one's tracked him. You can see I was just trying to jostle both of them with my control player, but I just couldn't get a defender anywhere near him. But McCatty, it's cleared up to McCatty. Into Cole. Cole with a through ball. Looking for Phillips. Good feet by Phillips. Out to Williams now. Williams looking for the crossfield ball. Into Cole. And it's 2-1, 38 minutes gone, and it's the second half volley for Cole. Two goals from the striker, and great wing play there by our captain, Williams. We broke really nicely down the wing, crossed it into the near post, bang. 2-1. Come on, you tykes, we need to keep this now. Blackpool look dangerous every time they go forward, and the keepers kept us in it. And thankfully, we fired this away from their goalie to give us a lead. This is running dangerous now though. Blackpool are constantly on the attack. And they're into the second half in the 51st minute. Ball forward to Phillips. Phillips looking for Cole. Cole's looking for some space. Can't find any. Comes back to Wolf. Wolf with the ball now. Wolf looks out wide to Williams again. This is good wing play again. Williams whacks the cross in. Oh, it's gone over everyone. Well cleared, but it's Wolf again. Plays it wide to Phillips. Phillips looking for a gap. There's nothing there. And it's a great challenge by Finnegan. Finnegan finds Joseph now. Blackpool going to try and counter at speed. Lavery is going to go straight from the middle of this. Pines slides to try and cut him off. Here he goes straight through. Buckley's tracking him back. Oh, that's a terrible foul. And it's a red card. Our youngster Buckley diving in there, showing his immaturity, his lack of experience. Diving in, and he's the last one. So we're down to 10 men with 17 minutes left on the clock. Jordan Rhodes now on the field for Blackpool. Very good striker, obviously made his name down the road at Huddersfield. Norburn carrying the ball forward. Into Rhodes. Rhodes into Lavery, into Norburn. Oh, what a big save by Roberts, the keeper there. They keep piling this pressure on. 77th minute, the resulting corner from that save. Byers with it now. It's a good tackle by Kane, but they keep the ball. Colson into Husband. We just can't get near him. Pennington into Morgan. Oh, that's a good block, but it's come back to Lavery. Lavery into Rhodes. We just can't get the ball away. Oh, what a finish. Lavery with it. That's given them the equaliser with 10 minutes to go. I can't quite believe how easy that was for them. We just couldn't get a touch on them or get anywhere near them. 
just playing with this, just toying with this in the penalty spot. And then it's Lavery turns and drills the ball low into the corner. It's a lovely finish. Out like, inside his foot, just guides it into that bottom corner. And that is 2-2. Two, two. Ten minutes of the game to go. We need to see this out with at least a point. We can't afford to drop any points at this stage of the season. And the last minute highlight, 89th minute. Ball comes into Rhodes. Rhodes beautifully spread to Colson. Colson with it now. Williams just trying to... Oh, he's just done me completely. Trying to stand them up. Great block by Pines. Can't get rid of it, though. Comes out to Rhodes. Can we just clear it? And it finally whacks it away up to McCatty. Is that going to be it? Or they get another attack husband with it? But no, that's all. Oh, we rode our look there. The red card really, really hurt us. And the youngster Buckley will have to learn from that. But we do secure a point against Blackpool, who were chasing us in fourth place. Bristol Rovers up next, 15th in the league. They've lost their last game, but they've been unbeaten in the last four before that. Decent side. Jordan Ross, to obviously former Liverpool player. Thomas in there as well. He's played in the Premier League. There's some good, decent players in there, but we need to win this game. They're lower down in the league. We're going to sim it. Buckley's obviously suspended. Oh, we do get a win. Cole and Williams with it. Williams picks up a yellow card. So let's hope we don't get too many more of those because we don't want him to miss too many more games. But it's a clean sheet and it's a win. Bolton get the same, but they win 1-0. So our goal difference is plus one at least. Into game against Stockport now. They've dropped to fifth after they draw and their defeat in their last two games. They were up to fourth or third before the start of the save. Or start of the month even. Um, yeah promoted last season obviously from league two in real life promoted in the game by us at the start of the save and they're flying high same as Wrexham both the promoted sides doing really well and we start in the 40th minute it's been a bit of a tense battle but Stockport have a corner Kane with it Kane gets it away to Phillips at halfway big gap in the middle of the field but no one there Phillips with it just carrying the ball looks for Devante Cole looks through for Williams Williams through and got oh he's just offside thought we timed that right but obviously he just didn't get the stride right and he's definitely offside he's yeah he's quite a bit offside frustrating but that was a good chance for a breakaway but the highlight continues burn with the free kick into Wooten but it's won by Pines that's a big header Cole wins the flick on McCatty into Cole oh, he doesn't miss those does he that's 1-0 just before the break Devante Cole with it. What a cracking finish that was by the striker. Him and McCatty linking up really nicely, and that continues. But there's such a huge gap in the middle of the field. See it as he goes through, he's got the defender all beat. Similar to our defender, we can't defend the centre of the field, and neither can the AI looking at it. And it's mashed into the top corner, and that's 1 0 to Barnsley just before the break. Devante Cole, how many goals has he got now? That's 26 goals in 32 games, almost a goal a game. Into the second half now, 53rd minute, Stockport lift the free kick in. It's won really well. Kane can bring it away. Kane into McCatty. McCatty looks inside. Into Connell. Connell's got Cole running one. Oh, it's a terrible pass. I wanted it to go to Cole. Oh, oh it's a rubbish foul as well. Adam Phillips with it. Just stops them breaking away, but. It gives them a chance to lift another ball into the box and it's hit forward. Oh, that's a good flick on. Nobody marking again. Just such an easy finish for their player to just guide it home. He's all on his own in the CTR box. They win the header and he's just could have been offside maybe. Oh, ah, it came off Pines. That's why. Their t if their striker had won the header, then he would have been offside. But oh, Roberts again. Just get your arms out. So frustrating, but so that Stockport back in the game. It's our own fault for giving away a cheap free kick. And Stockport have got the possession again with the corner. Headed really well away. Can we get out to it? Lewis Cass with it now, the former Newcastle player. Into Bailey. Bailey with it. Agdini. Oh, great movement around the corner. He's got a shot on goal here. Oh, so lucky that he's got nice shooting boots on today. Daniel Gore's coming on for Phillips. Let me try and build from here. Pines. Out to Williams. Williams into Gore. Gore into Connell. And oh, we're on the break now. Can we slot it through? That's a great run by Cole. There we go. He just takes a second to compose himself. Mashes it home into the corner again. Fabulous finish by the star striker. Had you right goal celebration. Things you love to see. 
right back in the lead with a great through ball there by Makati. Just slots it around the corner. Pines takes a touch and then drives it across the keeper into the top, well, into the side netting nearly. Not quite the top corner this time, but the keeper had no chance on that one. Great finish, and that gives us back the lead. We're back in 2 1. But straight from the kickoff, they've got the ball. They're pushing forwards now. Hippolyte carrying the ball forward. Connell is already on a yellow card. He's just got to stand his ground. Into Ajdini again. We can't, we can't dive in on them. They're just running around us. Bailey with it now. That's a great block. Earl with it. Bring it away. Cadden, can we hit them on the break again? They've got such a high line. Can we go over the top? And that's Kane into Cole. Cole, awkward touch. Gets away from the diving defender. Can he get a hat-trick? That's three. Devante Cole picks up his third goal of the game. Puts us 3-1 up with 15 minutes to go. And hopefully that should give us the three points to bring home with us. Stockport, not quite a local derby. Local-ish. They're obviously in the playoff push. And we've hit them three times really nicely on the break. Devante Cole, absolute legend to this save. Three goals. Fires across the keeper into that left-hand side again. Keeper had no chance. He's been left all alone. Nine minutes to go now. Stockport with the corner. Oh, we've just gone front. Can Gore get it away? He dinks it long to Cole. Oh, this is just bad game. This is just bad game. Cole is all alone. Can he get four? Yeah, easy as. Absolutely no one with him at all there. Anywhere near him at all. And it's just a really, really, really badly coded game in that fact that no defenders were near him. He had the run of the centre of the pitch. Again, across the keeper, into that left-hand side. Four carbon copy goals, really. But that's 4-1. That gives us a great chance to really wrap this up, bring the points home. And Stockport can just feel aggrieved that the game's kind of screwed them on four counter-attacks, really. But they do have the ball. There's still time. There's five minutes. Can they get a consolation? Hippolyte pushing forward. Powell with it now. Ajdini with it. We just can't foul them. We can't tackle them. That's ref's wave play on for nothing there. Bailey with it. We tried to slide in to block it. Oh, that's great feet by Wooden. You know when they say, like, FC24 or FIFA is scripted? Just look at the defence. They just stand and watch him. And my centre-back has actually actively moved away from the ball. Wooden all in his own. Keeper's got no chance. Just, pfft. yeah. We knew that goal was coming. Absolutely felt it. And this has been building as well. The last minute in the game. In fact, we've gone over time. They're going to score again here because FIFA is FIFA. Even under a different name, if the AI wants to score, the AI will score. Very frustrating. We don't win the header at the front post. Nobody picks up the runner at the back post. And the keeper's just in the middle of nowhere again. Thankfully, this will be the last kick of the game. Because otherwise, I think we'd screw this one up. Really bad win. Cadden didn't win the header at the front, but no one's marking him at all. Like McCarthy's actively running away from the ball, and the keeper's just in no man's land. Great. So instead of being 4 1 up and comfortable, it was 4 3. That is the last kick of the game, and Devante Cole can take the match ball home. That's the positive to take from that. We have scored four goals, we have scored four really decent goals, and conceded three really poor ones. I think mean, that should be the tagline for the game going forward. You score great goals, but you concede really sloppy ones. Lincoln now in the last game of the month. They're in 11th place. They've not won in their last four. Probably means that they're going to get a result against us. We're changing the formation slightly just to rest a few players. Playing three at the back all the time. Our centre-backs are just getting knackered. So we're going to start McCarthy and Buckley in a diamond shape. Gore starts at Cam. Oh, we do. It's a draw. 1-1. One, one. They had one shot on goal, and they scored it. Even when you sim, this game hates you sometimes. And Bolton won their game as well against Wigan. So, five points clear with eight games to go. We are 15 clear of Blackpool now, which is great. We're pushing, pushing, and pushing. We need six more points for promotion, but that is tight against Bolton. With eight games to go, this is going to go right down to the wire, I feel. Even though we've had really good results and really good form, those, like, ten draws, and especially, like, the last one that we just had with their only shot of the game is really frustrating. So next month, we've got Reading at home, Shrewsbury at home, Peterborough away, Wickham at home, and Leighton Orient away. 
before facing Northampton, Wrexham and Crawley Town to round the season out. Hope you enjoyed that episode guys. If you did please leave a like and we'll see you next time.